we've been wanting to bring you guys a pheasant and quail hunting show for quite a while so this year we booked a hunt with Ozark Wings Hunting Preserve out of Caulfield, Missouri. And since we hadn't shot our shotguns pretty much all winter, we figured we'd dust them off at the trap range. We're out here today at Missouri Trap Shooters, getting ready for uh, next weekend. We got a pheasant and quail and chucker shoot. A bunch of us are gonna get together and try to film that. And... Whoa! Whoa! Look, have you been watching me this round? It's luck. Got it. Two in a row. Let's quit. Oh. Oh. Headed up to our bird hunt. Jason Coleman and myself were the cameramen for this hunt, and we rode up with Charles Cloaks and my dad. And when we got to Ozark Wing Hunting Preserve, we also met up with Ron Aarons and Matt Schumann. I killed some pheasants. She's the, she's got the stronger nose of the two. She got the stronger nose? Yeah. And then Sage is, and we'll be in our pheasants first. And uh, this is the time of year where the pheasants will be breeding. So you'll have some of them that'll hold really tight and some of them they'll be moving a lot. So the dog may come on point. And if it breaks point and starts moving around, just kind of be ready. We'll just kind of keep moving. Keep moving on the pheasants and, and uh, just gotta watch the quail. Some of them quail will fly low. Normal, most of them will get up from fairly high, but just gotta watch the quail and make sure it's not away from the dogs. And, and we'll go out and have a good time. Right off the bat, the dogs were on point with a pheasant, and Charles Cloak was up to bat. This is my first pheasant hunt. But I learned really quick that if we was going to take some meat home on this trip, we were going to have to let them get a little farther than that before we pulled the trigger. You can see your hole. Just keep, keep walking there with the dogs because it, it may be moving on us. Right there. Hey, Matt. That was good. That's sweet. That's fine. Yeah, they got another point right up there. Can I see them real quick? Yeah. Very sweet. Easy sage. You follow that up? Huh? Did you I got it. I got it. That was you? I thought it was Matt. No, I didn't see. That was a mallard. What, what was that? Malinistic. Or, uh, I see a they call them, some people call them majestic mutants. They're really dark in color. Um, Sage. Good job. Good job. They're just real, real black, real black colored pheasant. Good job, that was a heck of a shot. That second job was Alright guys, we're going to kind of go and work the field down this way and we actually got another point right there. Let it get out there and wait. 10-4. Okay. Okay, Pearl. Okay, okay, okay.
another one. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right in front of us. Sage. Sage. Bring it here, Sage. Sage, come here. Good job. Good job. Come on, Sage. Good job. Good job. What's that beeping on the record? Yeah, any time they stop, then that beep will start going off. Or forget if you can't see the dog and all that. Sage, come on, Sage. Good job. Good girl. Good girl. Matt, are you on? Yep. Dead bird, Sage. Dead bird, Sage. Hey, Matt. Good job, Matt. Matt, good job. Could, could be another one bird there. One there too, that's what I think. Could be. Bobby, get up here and get that one. Shut the hole. God. Do you think you can tell us what those chuckers are? Fuck, I don't know. What they are. Uh, they're partridge, and they originate from yeah. Um, Afghanistan and Turkey, and they've got some wild ones in Texas and um, I think in Texas and I think uh, places like Montana. But may I'm not sure on the Montana part. Picking up a little bit of slack for all the ones I've missed so far. Our guide, Corey, he was awesome to work with. He's very patient with us. We had some first time bird hunters out there and he kind of set a good pace for us to where we could uh, enjoy and learn at the same time. He's very knowledgeable and he just has that personality that I think anybody could get along with. And on top of that, his dogs, his two dogs, uh, Pearl and Sage, just watching those dogs work in the field, uh, point and flushing, that right there is a great experience just on its own. Give me that head. Yeah, Give me that head. That head. <laughs> you got, got it. it. <laughs> Pearl, good job, good job, good girl, good girl.
wanting that head. Come on, Pearl. Should be a couple more quail somewhere in Okay, we just concluded our hunt out here at Ozark Wings, and I'd like to thank Corey, Sage, and Pearl, uh, the two dogs, and uh, they, they've done a great job. We would have walked over a lot of birds except for them. Uh, they're great dogs. Uh, um, we got everything that we was out here for except we didn't get four pheasant because they either run or flew away before we could get, get down on them. Uh, it was a great time. We had four hunters out here, and uh, it was a great time, and we'll be back. I'd like to just thank Corey again. Thank you. Thank you. you guys had good safe, sh good safe shooters, and had a really good time, and had good dog work. What you want to do, you want to grab the bird and there's a their main bone that comes right off the breast. You can break that and it clicks just like that. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Pull the wing off. Pull the skin back, put your finger down in there. And it comes right out. Of course that one's hit pretty hard, but um, the same concept on the chuckers. I grab the edge of the table. Rock it over there. Pin the skin back. Put your finger down there. Pull the part just like that. There's your breast. Their bones are a little bit stronger than the quail. There you go. It's pretty slick. Yeah. It really works really good on the corner of the table, too. Right. I didn't get any very many.